angel could have prevailed. The angel could have smote him. The angel could have knocked him out. But God's not, oh, y'all ain't hearing me. I said the enemy could have taken you out. God could have let you go under. He could have he could have knocked the other leg out from under you. But God's not in the business of knocking your legs out from under you. He's just in the ability and his plan is to get you to a place where you surrender everything that you have to the king. Hallelujah. And he didn't prevail against him. He just smote his thigh so that he realized, I can't do this. I can't fight him by myself. If I'm going to get help, it's not going to be in my flesh. It's going to be because God came through and helped me. Every step. Why did he touch the sinew? Why did he touch the leg? Because every step I take, I'm going to be reminded God's going to take care of this. He changed me from what I once was. God's got it under control. Oh, I wish somebody had helped. Anybody in here been changed? I said, has anybody in here been changed? If you've been changed every step you take, God's got it under control. I remember what I once was. I, I remember where I was, but now I've been changed. Now I've been transformed. I cannot explain what has happened to me. I can only say I'm not the man I used to be. I may not understand it. I may not know how it's going to work. But me trying to fix it isn't going to help. I was the supplanter. I was the deceiver. But now I've got power. I've been given power with an almighty God. And now my name is Israel. Hallelujah. There's been a change. Oh, what a change there's been. Every time you take a step and that heel hits the ground, you ought to rejoice. Because what the enemy meant to destroy with, God in his sovereignty and his grace turned it around. Hallelujah. And I can say, hey, it was in the middle of it. Oh yeah, there may be some pain there, but it was in the middle of Peniel where I met God. And it was in the middle of Peniel where I met him face to face and God came through for me.